Donald Trump cast his vote in West Palm Beach in Florida and DD India's correspondent Amrit Pal Singh reports from Ground Zero over there. I'm right now outside the polling booth where Republican candidate Donald Trump has just voted. He said that he's confident that he will make it back to the White House as his voter base has turned out in large numbers to vote. But more importantly, Donald Trump said that there will be no violence from uh, his camp. He said these reports about violence are not true. He called them fake and said that uh, he's appealed for no violence, for fair and smooth elections. He said if it were a paper ballot, uh, the results would be out by known by now, uh, basically casting aspersions on uh, the voting process, hinting that there could be a voter fraud, but at the same trying, uh, time trying to say that his voter base has turned out across the country in large numbers and he's confident that he'll make it to the White House. With cameraman Sanjay Jena, this is Amrit Pal Singh for DD India at West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, even as voting progresses, both Republicans and Democrats are confident of their victory. DD India correspondent Amrit Pal Singh judges their mood outside Trump's beach house at Mar-a-Lago. This is Donald Trump's beach house, Mar-a-Lago, at West Palm Beach in Florida. I'm right outside uh, Mar-a-Lago, which has become uh, the election headquarters of Donald Trump. From It is from here, Donald Trump is watching the election results. Uh, uh, to give you a sense of what the atmosphere here uh, right now is, there are people out on the streets outside Mar-a-Lago, understandably Republican supporters, people out here carrying uh, Trump banners, American flags, supporters, Republican supporters you know, even as the voting goes on and once the trends start coming in uh, we would know how much Repub how much have the Republicans uh, come out and voted uh, to talk about uh, you know how the Republicans are shaping up uh, here you're wearing a t-shirt saying women for Trump uh, do you think on the abortion issue what uh, stand Kamala Harris has taken cuts eyes with the women of this country um, I, I, I do. I think um, if you mean by cuts ice, like has divided this country, yes, I do. Um, I think it, it's, it shouldn't even be an issue anymore. We're in 2024. President Trump is for women's health, for women's safety, like keeping men out of women's sports. Um, he didn't take the right to an abortion away for rape victims, for incest victims, uh, women who might die if they carry the baby to term. All he did was overturn Roe Ro versus Wade and bring it from the federal government back to each individual state. And I don't know any state out of the 50 states in our country that tell people they may not have an abortion. They have to have the abortion within their term limits whatever that may be. So I think Kamala Harris is pushing this woman's rights issue and the women just aren't researching it for themselves or they're just not, they're just listening to whatever. They don't even care. They're just hearing this and they're getting so upset and that's not what he has said. So clearly the opinion here in the United States is divided. Uh, once uh, the figures come in, we would know uh, how many women, how many young voters have voted uh, for uh, Kamala Harris or will it be Donald Trump who emerges as the winner from this race? With cameraman Sanjay Jena from outside the Mar-a-Lago in West Palm Beach, this is Amrit Pal Singh for DD India.